there is no sincere love than the love of food. Good evening, master of ceremonies, fellow toastmasters, and guests. Good evening. I love food. Not just one or two, but all types of food. Asian, Korean, Japanese, African, Italian, French, and so on. The list goes on. It's a never-ending story. You see, I'm very multicultural. Food is something that a lot of us talk about nowadays, especially in Bahrain. It is more famous than big boss to the meat, to the increase in meeting meat prices. We all have faith, we all have passion to anything related food. In our precious life, in our precious life, great food and good drink makes our life is the only thing that really lifts us. What is you have this pottery pancake for breakfast? Sure. <laughs> and this cheesy Spicy, I don't know what pizza for for dinner. Yummy pizza. Yummy and tummy. And this vanilla ice cream cookie with chocolate sprinkled over it and baked cookies. That's love. I love it. That's love. I know, right? Love. And. I bet all of your mouth will be watering till now. But there's nothing you can do it about right now. <laughs> Remember, patience is the key to success. Food inspires. Food entertains us. Food feeds our mind, body, and soul. You guys see the love, right? <laughs> We need food. It's our need. We just start when we're around, when we're bored. We need milk. We really need milk. We don't get it on time, we shake the house. Then when we are around time to nine year old, we want candies. I mean, we, trust me, we need candies. If you don't get it, it doesn't matter. It is in mud or anywhere. As long as it is a candy, we will still eat it. And then there's us now. We want everything. We want fresh juice, we want milkshake, we want lunch, we want dinner, we want breakfast, we want afternoon snack, we want evening snack, we want midnight snack too, your friend's snack, your friend's enemy snack? <laughs> your enemy snack too? We want our mouth to be moving 24-7. And if we don't get food on time, we would eat the people alive. Trust me, I would. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> now let's take a brief moment and talk about those who don't have access to food, let alone fancy food. Do you know how many people are starving? Can you even count? People, globally, human beings produce enough food wastage that could feed 3 billion people. Imagine 3 billion people, which is like a three-quarter of this whole population. We, for those hungry people, who would even be thankful for having one piece of bread? I have seen that smile on their face. Once I was going to a trip at Pakistan. I stopped at a spot to 
breath. I was all irritated. I, had, I didn't have sl uh, slept for two days. So then these four kids, group of kids, came to me asking for help, asking for food or money. But that time I was so irritated, I just shouted at them. They'd go, just go away. But they didn't. They were just standing there looking at me. Those eyes were painful. Those eyes had a story to tell. They talked. They wanted us to understand how starving they are. Eventually, I couldn't do that much at that time. I just gave them enough to have one time meal. But they were so happy, so happy, I could, it just gave peace to my heart. Only then I realized how feeding the poor and saving the kids can save this life of poor kids. Imagine looking at those hungry people who would, or those hungry people who, who are starving and letting them know that the food that they are starving for are thrown away just as fast as they arrive in this Western and Arab world. Are we ready to take any actions? Each step can change the world. Oh, the future of all human beings depends on us and our each step. Here are some actions you can take to here are some actions you can take to stop wasting food. Shop smart. Shop only the food you need. Plan a plan plan a, a, a shopping list and stick to it. Eat the leftovers. Or keep the leftovers for some poor people. And use it all. Plan your plan your meals. Plan the portion. Think about the portion of your food. Next time you are feeding the good to the rubbish men, rubbish men, ask yourself: Those starving kids or starving family, would they approve your action? No, right? You have the knowledge. You have the power. Do it yourself. Don't take, don't wait for another person to take an action. This simple stuff can really help. Stop wasting food. Back to you, Master.